Okay, it is Monday, and that means it is Moxie Monday, and this is where Michelle and I, my name is Mary Ann, and we do a really brief Monday, Moxie Monday video, mm -hmm. and our topic today is sometimes girlfriend just needs to cry. Yes. Right? <laughs> sometimes we just do. And uh, we like to say, no, more than like to say, this is what we embrace. Moxie's about creating conversations that matter. And the things that really matter um, to us really pops up in a lot of our conversations, girlfriend to girlfriend. Um, but we don't see that happening a lot with a lot of other women. It's like, I'm not going to tell you what I'm really struggling with. So, Because I may cry. <laughs> you may cry. So today, we're going to talk about it. Sometimes a girl needs to cry. And a lot of this um, came up from yesterday. We were at a wedding. Uh -huh. And it was emotional. I'm emotional anyways with weddings. But yesterday it was a more emotional. And of course we had our, our makeup. Like we had it kicked on, girl. <laughs> our eyeliner. And we're like, we're not going to cry. Although I love the word you came up with. You said you didn't want to be a... Would you call it? <laughs> I, I said blobbering. 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 Instead of that, blubbering? blubbering, blubbering. I was thinking blubbering, but it came out blobbering, which actually kind of was <laughs> kinda descriptive because I didn't want to be that either. No. <laughs> so we decided that um, we need to come up with the code so that we could look at one another and make sure. Suck it up. Suck it in. And the code word we used was choleric because choleric is one of the personality types that mm -hmm. I'm, that's the strong one in my personality being very tough and great in crisis and just gets focused. Pull up your bootstraps and take charge. Pull up your big girl panties mm -hmm. and all that. Yes. Um, <laughs> Not a lot of choleric. So you had to dig deep. I really had to dig deep. When we had the conversation, it was like, all right, we need to dig up our choleric. And you said it's easy for you. And for me, That's, I have to dig deep. Yes. Yeah, so you did good. But then we were like, what happens if we're across the room? So we came up with the code, the C, to go if you feel like something's happening. So, but, you know, we got us thinking, it's like uh, about the whole crying thing. Like, even as women, because um, it's like, oh, women cry all the time. But sometimes, like, we have a tendency to hold it together. I feel like I can't cry right now, especially, yeah, I remember my season as a single mom. I needed to hold it together. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to cry. And there's only so much you can hold in. That dam will break. It, <laughs> you're going to say something else. <laughs> I could have, but no, I chose that one. Yeah, it will. I mean, we can, look, you're talking queen of suppression here. Eventually, it's going to overflow. And when it does, it's usually not pretty. Yeah. So we need to cry. Crying is a good thing. We do. You are definitely the queen of depression, <laughs> as we call it, the queen of denial. And I remember that season. I'm like, we're on the phone. And I said... You just need a good cry. Because I think you maybe said, I feel like I need, I don't know. And I'm like, you just need a good cry. Yes. I was going through the grieving process not well. And um, it was a Friday night, which Friday nights were always tough. And I thought I needed a good cry. And, and you know, ladies, you know when you need a good cry. And I knew I needed one. So I was going to put on a really sad movie that would make me cry. Mm -hmm. And work out at the same time because that's what I did. I, I like had to you know, get things done and multitask. Yep. So I thought, so I put this really sad movie on and I'm on the treadmill. <laughs> try, now Wait, I, picture this. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Pretty much. It did not work out well. And I think either you called me or I called you and explained what I was doing. You probably said, what are you doing? And I told you. And, you know, it's one of those things as the words come out, you go, this is really stupid. I don't know what, <laughs> what I was, was thinking. I thinking. Right. But, but, you know, we can't always control. Like, I wanted mm. to control when I was going to cry. I was going to wait until after work. I was going to work out and cry at the same time. Mm -hmm. And be done with it. <laughs> so you had it on your schedule. Oh, yeah. I, I had kind of mentally planned it. And we can't. No, no. We're human. We're human beings. We were created to have emotion and feelings and feel deeply. And one of the things I've learned is that when you are really grieving and sad and teary, it's because you care deeply. Mm -hmm. And so denying it, <laughs> denying it um, is just uh, delaying it, um, really, at the end of the day. Just That's delays really good. it. 
Did Thank I you. Miss delay. I just when yeah. you write that down. <laughs> yeah, that's quotable, the tweetable. Yeah, all of but that. But it's but it's true because we've seen it and we've lived it. I yes. So um, what we would like to say and challenge women today that um, you know maybe you need a good cry, or maybe uh -huh. you know a girlfriend who needs a good cry, and that's okay. We're giving you permission to just have a good cry. Call a girlfriend, go in the bathroom, get in the shower. Showers are the best place because, at least for me, because it just kind of like just is washing over and I just feel so much better. Not for you. I, well, I, have to work I out. like to. <laughs> I like to. In fact, when I was getting ready for the wedding, when I was really cry, I thought, let me get a good crying before the wedding. So I thought, you know, getting a shower and getting cleaned up, that would be great, but it didn't happen. Actually, the car is a really good place for me to cry. While you're driving? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's not pretty. Fight. So I think we all have those places yeah. where we either feel safe or alone enough to cry. Because sometimes you need to be mm -hmm. alone to cry. And sometimes you see that person that's that you just see them and they'll make you cry. because Not because they said anything, but because mm. you know they're safe. Yeah. And it's like, Ooh, oh, this is a safe good. place. She... Or he loves me, and I know it's okay for me to like let the walls down yes. and just cry. Yes, like you ever been in the hospital and you're keeping it together and you're keeping it together and everything's fine because you know there's things happening right. and you gotta listen to the doctor. But then that safe person walks in the door yes. and you lose it. Yes, you lose it. All the yes, um, a lot. It's almost like in life. I may not be in a hospital, mm -hmm. but I need that safe person to come around the corner that says without saying a word permission. Mm -hmm. to feel what you're feeling, Marianne. It's mm -hmm. okay. You're not a baby. Um, you're not weak. Right. Um, you're not less than. You are a feeling human being, so it's okay. Um, I would also add, um, if you find yourself crying a lot, like if you find yourself, which I found myself crying daily, or like any little thing could happen, I just would feel myself like, I cannot stop crying. Mm -hmm. That's a sign, go talk to somebody. Yeah. Um, I started getting counseling from that. You and Dean saw it and mm -hmm. lovingly said, it's time. <laughs> yeah. It's time. Yeah. Because it's one thing when you get that cry out and you're, you're fine for a while, but yeah. you were crying all the time. Too much. And nothing we were doing or saying was helping. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that pervasive thing. So we're here because we care deeply about women of all ages. Um, we really want women to have fun, healthy. We laugh a lot, but we're not going to deny the fact that life is hard and we were made for emotions and yes. it's okay to display those in the mm -hmm. right places. So um, if this speaks to you, maybe you have a friend who, like you saw me, mm -hmm. Um, you don't know how to approach them to say maybe you need to see someone or you just need a good cry share this video with them Say hey saw these two gals and they talked about this. Let you and I talk about it I mean our heart is that we want that con this conversation to go beyond this video Yes, like it's not about us being on a video and being on social media This is about us going first talking about whatever we believe is on our hearts and we want you to continue the conversation in yeah. your homes and in your girlfriend lives or yeah. wherever. So yeah. do that. Um, yes. I think that's it. For now, we're probably going to go cry. <laughs> no, yeah. we're going to go we eat got cake. It out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching. Share it with someone if you um, feel like that's helpful for them. And give yourself permission. Yes. It's okay. Don't hold back. Don't. Bye. Bye.